Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the data type and the size uh, that the size of each data type or the memory which is occupied by each data type and the range of each data type. Okay, now uh, first thing we have this table here with us. Uh, we have three columns. The first column is the data type and the second column is the size. Uh, that means what is the size of each data type in bytes. Okay, and then the range. Okay, and uh, before we uh, move uh, further, just remember that one byte is equal to eight bits. This you need to remember because uh, this is very important. Sometimes you are asked uh, in the size in bytes and then other times you are asked in bits. Okay, so we will see how to convert a byte into bits also. So uh, here, so starting with first data type and please maintain this order. Here, I have written the data types in this order. That means byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, boolean. Okay, so you have to learn them in this order because then it will be easier for you to remember the size of each data type. So remember this order. First four is all the primitive, all the integer primitive data types, byte, short, int, long. Okay, then comes the floating point data types, float and double. Then we have char and then we have boolean. So the order is byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, boolean. Okay, now the size in bytes here, this, uh, the size which I've mentioned here, it is in bytes. So a byte variable occupies one byte, a short variable occupies two bytes in memory, a float variable, uh, int variable occupies four bytes in memory and a long variable occupies eight bytes in memory, a float four bytes, double eight bytes, char two bytes and a boolean variable will take up one byte in memory. So if you see there is a pattern here and it will help you remember, just don't mix up the order. The order has to remain the same, then only the pattern will make sense. So order is byte short, int long, float, double char, boolean. So another way we can, you know, just, just uh, I have my own, you know, hacks for remembering it in one of uh, it is B S I L F B S I L byte short int long. Then we have float double and then char boolean. So one, two, four, eight. So see one, two, four, eight, four, eight, two, one. So there's a pattern here. So I think uh, you can easily remember this uh, in this way. One, two, four, eight, four, eight, two, one. Now the range, this of course you'll have to learn. So the byte, the range of a byte variable is minus one twenty eight to Plus 127. Of course, you need not learn the right hand side if you know the uh, this the initial number that means minus 128. So on the uh, positive side, it is always one less than this. So because it includes a zero, also. so this is if this is minus 28, it has to be plus 127. So for a short, it occupies two bytes in memory. What is the range? Minus 32,768. That's all you need to remember because on the positive side, it will be one less 32,767. Again, for an int, it is minus 2 raised to the power 31. Now here, uh, I can give you a hack again. We have uh, int variable occupies 4 bytes in memory. So when you convert it into bits, so how many bits it would be? Because we know 1 byte is 8 bits. So that would be 4 into 8, 32 bits. Okay, so 32 bits. So if you see here, it's uh, 31. That means 1 less. So minus 2 raised to the power 31, 2. Again, on this side, I told you it is 1 less. So it will be a positive number. That means 2 raised to the power 31 minus 1. Similarly, for a long, it is 8. So 8 is a 64. So this is 63. So minus 2 raised to power 63. 2, 2 raised to power 63 minus 1. 1 less. For a float, it's my, this you have to learn minus 3.4e plus 38. 2. On the other side, it's a, a positive number. Okay, minus 3.4 plus 38. Similarly, for a double, it's minus 1.7e. E stands for exponent plus 308 to 1.7e plus 308. Now for a char, the range is 60 to 65,535 characters. That's a range. And the size is 2 bytes. Okay. So size of a char variable is or a char data type is 2 bytes. For a boolean, it takes 1 byte and the boolean, the range for a boolean is uh, true or false. Just 2 values. Okay. Now moving on. Uh, we have this uh, initial value of a variable. So sometimes you're asked, what are the initial values? So just remember that the initial value of each class variable, instance variable, or array element 
is initialized with a def default value when it is created. That means whenever we create a class instance or an array element, it has a default value. On the other hand, when we create local variables, they do not have any initial value. They are not initialized by default. What are local variables? Now, local variables are the variables which are declared within a scope. For example, if you declare a variable within uh, the uh, within a for loop, or if you declare a variable within a method, that would be local to that method. So whenever we have a local variable, they, they are not initialized by default only class variables instance variables and array elements are initialized with a default value now uh, just remember that what are the initial values so initial values of all the four integer primitive data types byte short int long are respectively 0 0 0 and 0 n for a long you need to suffix 0 with a n okay for floating point we have two primitive flow uh, uh, data types float and double and the initial value or the default value of a float variable would be 0.0f and a default value of a double variable data type would be 0.0d. For a char data type the default value is null character and for a boolean data type the default value is, a, is false. Okay, now all the reference data types that means classes, arrays and interfaces they have a default value of null. Okay, so this you need to remember. Now let's uh, do a quick exercise here. So the first question is what is the size of an int variable in bits here? Now just remember it is asking in bits not in bytes. So if you remember that table we had byte short int long. So 1, 2, 4 and 8. So that means int has a 4 uh, bytes in memory. So since they are asking in bits, so 4 into 8 because 1 byte is how many bits? 8 bits. So 4 into 8. So the answer should be 32 bits. And please be careful here because the most commonly make, made mistakes is either you will write 32 uh, bytes or you will write 8 bits. So you just need to pay attention here. The answer is bits or bytes and accordingly you give your answer. So the answer you would write is 32 bits. What is the size of a char data type? So what is the size of a char data type? They're not, they're not asking us the range. They're asking us the size. So the size of a char data type is 2 bytes. What is the size of a boolean variable in bits? Now a boolean variable occupies 1 byte in memory. So 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. So the answer should be 8. 8 bits. So what is the range of a char data type? Now here they are asking for range not a size. So range is 0 to 65,535. What is the size of a double data type? Now here they are not asking in bits or bytes. So whatever answer you write just be careful that you add bits or bytes accordingly. So the size of a double data type is 8 bytes or 64 bits. You need not write both the answers. Just write one answer and do not mix up. And one byte is remember 8 bits. So I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to eStudy.in and do click on the bell icon and keep watching eStudy.in. Thanks for watching.